Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. In this video, I'm going to spend time in the interior of the 2020 Toyota CHR. This is a limited edition, and one of my subscribers had asked me to go ahead and record a custom video for them on the interior. And so I want to honor that request. Hey, if you're watching this video and you'd like a custom video of a particular feature, a particular vehicle, maybe you want something specifically about the headlights on a car, by all means, let me know in the comments. And if I'm able to get it done, I'll do it for you. So let's go ahead and dive inside and learn about the limited CHR. So jumping into the front seat on the driver's side, this is the limited edition CHR, so the door trim is different than you'd find on an XLE. First off, the bezel here is all a brushed aluminum, and that continues across the front of the dash. In the XLE trim, that's a blue trim, bright blue, which you may have seen in another video of mine. The door panels themselves, these are hard plastic, so very durable but it does have that diamond pattern or diamond finish. Also a brushed aluminum door handle. The light switch bezel is the piano black that we're seeing in all of the Toyota products. Power windows, these are auto up and down for all four windows. Power door locks, power mirrors, and then this is your switch to turn off your automatic outside mirrors. So what I mean by automatic is these mirrors are set up so that when you put it in park, they'll automatically fold into the car. And then when you put it in drive, they automatically fold out. And that's the on off switch for that feature. Down on the lower part of the door, you'll notice we do have a place for bottled water. And there's a speaker in the lower door as well. And you can see the door style itself picks up on the styling of the exterior. Moving to the driver's seat, you can see that we do have uh, an eight-way power driver's seat with power lumbar support. The CHR does not, is not available with a power passenger seat, only the power driver's seat. The seats on the CHR are a full leather seat and there's multiple patterns uh, within the leather seat. On the exterior here, you can see that it is a perforated leather makes it more flexible so it won't tear or crack over time. And then down the center of the seat, this right here, we're picking up on that diamond pattern that the CHR is known for. It's a nice bucket seat with an adjustable headrest up here. And then your seat belts do have our adjustable up and down right here. So let's go ahead and jump into the driver's seat and see what we can find. So here I am in the driver's seat, taking a quick look at the steering wheel. It is a smaller steering wheel and it is leather wrapped. There are no thumb rests on the steering wheel like we've seen on many of the other Toyotas, but it is padded and, it, and it's fairly comfortable. A three spoke steering wheel with the piano black trim on the inside really gives it a nice upscale look. Uh, on this side, again, we have all of our controls for our sound system, our Bluetooth voice activation, all of those push buttons. And then on the right side, we've got our trip information for our information center, which is up here in the gauge cluster. These are your on off switches for your lane departure and your pedestrian de uh, detection. You can turn those on and off. And on the CHR, the cruise control is still down here on this lower stock. Then up here on the right hand side are all the wiper controls. And we do have a rear washer wiper, so the switch for that's right here. And over on the right hand side, we do have your headlight controls. So this has automatic headlights and it also has fog lights as a part of the limited edition package. And that's where you'll find those switches. Down here on the lower portion of the dashboard is where we've got our automatic brights. So you can turn that on and off so it will automatically turn on the brights and turn them off. 
fuel filler door and your dimmer switch for your dash lights are all right down there. Let's go ahead and just fire it up. I wanna show you the gauges and what it looks like when the car starts. So part of that is we do have a smart key system and the smart key system allows us to have push button start. And that's right here. So let's go ahead and start it. And there you are. So you can see right now I've got a couple doors open. I've got the trunk open. On the left hand side is our tachometer, our temperature gauge, and then on the right hand side is our speedometer and our fuel gauge. And then in the center is that seven inch information center, which I can't do right now because I've got the doors open, but uh, that gives you your fuel economy and all of that type of stuff is right in the line eyesight of the driver. So moving over to the center stack, um, this is a 8.1 inch touchscreen, and you can see there is a digital clock built in there. Now this particular one does have, well I guess all of them now have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, they're Alexa compatible, um, your navigation system is not standard so you can get that as an extra charge I just went ahead and switched off the headlights so that brightens up this so when the headlights are off it gets brighter because it assumes it's daytime and when I turn on the headlights you can see it dims down because it assumes it's night out there's a quick look at our headlights out front so those are our driving lights these are our bright lights and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to brights and show you what it looks like when I turn on those fog lights. So those are bright white lights for sure. They look awesome on this. Heading down through the um, dashboard here, I'm just going to go ahead and turn on a couple lights here. We have um, automatic temperature control up front for front driver and front passenger front window defrost, rear window defrost, and you can see we also have power heated outside mirrors. Also part of the limited package is uh, three temperature heated seats on the driver's side and front passenger. There are no heated seats in the back seat. And you can see from a styling cue, we've got that piano black finish. It looks awesome. It's a nice glossy black finish. And then we've got the brushed aluminum trim going all the way across and moving into the door as well. So there's a lot of great styling cues on the CHR. Let's go ahead and take a look down here. Let's start with the shift knob. Um, this is a CVT automatic transmission and this is brushed aluminum with leather wrapping on the front side of it. So it's a pretty nice, uh, comfortable, but also very stylish shift knob. I'm just going to go ahead and shift it into reverse and pan back up here so you can see the backup camera on the CHR as well. So that's standard. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch it into drive. Just so we can see down underneath the center console. And you can see down underneath here, there is a storage compartment and then there's a USB port right there and a large cup holder for your big bottled waters and uh, cups and those types of things and that piano black finish you can see extends all the way back through the center console go ahead and put that back in park here's our, our park hold here's an on and off switch for your traction control and then we've got an additional cup holder right here which interesting um, Toyota put in this little uh, spacer so it's also super deep so if you need it for tall cups you can do that if you're using a short drink you can go ahead and put that right back in there so again a lot of attention to detail with Toyota and the products that they make there's another look at your leather seats up front and then here's your center armrest and uh, I have to say it's it's narrower um, so it's going to be tight for two arms on there and it's a fixed position um, but when you pop it open it's quite deep 
and then there is an additional 12 volt power port right there. So you've got several places you can plug in your electronic devices. Moving up to the headliner, uh, I want to show you another styling cue that I think is uh, is pretty interesting. You see these diamonds up here in the in the ceiling line. This is a fabric headliner, and then it's got these diamonds up in the roof line. So you really have to watch and, and see all the different styling cues on this car. Pretty interesting. Your visors do have lighted vanity mirrors, and we also have visor extensions, like so. And then back up here, the lights up here, the overhead dome light, actually has a diamond pattern in that as well. And then these are your on and off switches right here. And we also have our safety connect switch right there, part of the Safety Sense 2.0. And we have a standard day-night uh, rear view mirror. So there's a quick overview of the driver's compartment on this 2020 Toyota CHR. Let's jump in the back seat and see what we can find. So diving into the back seat on the CHR, quickly here on the doors, there is a large cup holder, a deep cup holder and you can see we've got that diamond finish that carried over from the front seat a brushed aluminum door handle and as we turn into the seats themselves these are a full leather seat with your diamond pattern right there down the center of it uh, there's actually diamonds here on the side as well this is the side airbag door but they gave it that diamond effect as well and then your rear seats they are a 60-40 fold-down seat. You can fold that seat down right here, like so. Um, and you could also take down the other side, so I'll do that when I get into the trunk. But uh, what's interesting is they opted not to add a folding armrest in the center of the CHR. So that's kind of a Toyota miss, I think. Um, it adds an extra level of comfort when you have two passengers back there and also provides room for uh, more cup holders. So sliding into the rear seat, on the Limited, there is a map pocket here on the back of the driver's seat and a map pocket here on the back of the passenger seat. There's no rear vents, um, which is kind of surprising as well. And I think there's a reasonable amount of room back here for adults. Now I'm 5'7", and that seats forward a little bit, but not a lot. And I find it to be pretty comfortable. So it'll be great for kids or smaller adults. But if you're a six footer, it might be a little bit tight. Here's a quick look at the driver's compartment from the back seat. Let's, Let's dive into the trunk on this uh, limited CHR. So there you have it. It is a huge opening across the back of there. So if you have tall items to put in there, uh, that's going to be super helpful. So jumping into the back, you can see the, the door sill here again has the diamond pattern across it. It's a hard plastic, so the theme here is durable for sure. Now this one does have the all-weather floor mats, which also have the diamonds built in there as well. And um, it's an extra charge item. If you, if you don't order those, then you do have a fabric uh, trunk. And I'll pop this up. And there's your spare tire. It is a temporary spare tire. And there's your jack over on the right-hand side. And there's a little extra room around there if you need to put um, some jumper cables or other emergency equipment. There's actually a little bit of room right here in the center as well. So there's some extra storage underneath there. On this side, we've got some storage. There's a place for your grocery bags to go here. And then on this side, same thing. A little bit of room on this side and a place for your plastic grocery bags to hang there as well. And then we also have down here tie down hooks at all four corners. And you can see I, right now I've got the seat folded down 60% of it here 
and then you can also drop down the other 40 percent and I would say that's probably about five feet from front to back and it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of um, at the narrowest point that's probably about three feet and then back here you probably have about four feet so I think you could fit golf clubs in the back you know like this because of that extra um, room on both sides go ahead and fold down that back seat so you can see when those seats are folded down it is a nice flat surface and one last look at the trunk with the rear seats folded down you can see that provides quite a bit of extra storage for all your gear